What's up, guys? TX from 3 hd here. Welcome to episode 6 of Underdogs in New York City. If you didn't see the last episode, we won both of our games. Uh, and now we're in the third round of the Amateur Cup. So let's get started and see if we can win and advance to the finals. Alright, Franz Nielsen coming up the ice. He's got some room here. Oh, he's got plenty of room. Back to the backhand. Oh, he can't can't find the back of the net. Rue 2. Pass that across to Zekas. Oh, we got robbed by Williams. Williams. There we go, Rue 2. Rue 2. Tuck it. There we go. Easy goal. I got him figured out. Is he going to quit? I got him figured out already. He always dives to try. He thinks that's good defense, I guess. And he quit. So we get a win there. And it's a shutout. So four players added to our team. Let's go see who we're going to get. All right, we got our players in the list here. There aren't a lot left, actually, so I might need to stop the four or two extra players for a shutout. But for now, we do get four. We get Hamannick. That's big for defense. And we also get Rafi Torres. Not the greatest player, but uh, let's go throw him in the team. I just completely forgot we were supposed to get four players, so let's get our other two now. Um, Adam Henrique. He's a pretty solid center. And Lubomir Viznovsky? Maybe, maybe won't use him. Maybe I will. I don't know. Anyway, let's go see. So this is what the team is looking like. I put Henrique here on the second line to make this an all-devils line again. Chemistry really improved this uh, this addition with the addition of these players. I didn't use Rafi Torres on the team at all. Uh, if you look, you can see that on the second pairing, I made that Salvador and Wisnowski. Put uh, Team of the Week Kamenic here. That's big for defense because our defense was lacking. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good... You know, these players made a pretty big difference. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into the second game of this episode, which is the finals of this cup. Also, before I get into the next uh, game, I've decided to make some changes. Shutouts now only get you one additional uh, player. Same thing as scoring a hat trick. And winning a tournament only gets you two additional players instead of five, just so that we don't get, like, every single player. So it, that'll just make the series boring. So that, those are some new changes that I'm in, implementing starting this episode, or starting this game, rather. Nelson, pass. Vanek, oh, he missed it. All right, all right, recover, recover. Snipe. Oh, Vanek. Oh, Nielsen, Nielsen. Fine, Brock, Nelson, tuck it. There we go. Early in the game, we get a goal, and it's one nothing for the good guys. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, big save by Al Montoya. Havlat. Havlat using his speed. He's going to round the net. Look for an option. He's going to pass it to Henrique. To the backhand. Oh, my God. Lightning just robbed Adam Henrique of a first game goal. Wow, what a save. There we go. Oh, that's the end of the period. Martin had a bit of a chance there. It was kind of like a three-on-one. But the period is over. We are winning one nothing. Not an overly exciting period. We both had a couple of chances, but nothing really too, you know, exciting, too outstanding. Shots are seven to four me. I'm dominating time on attack. My passing's pretty good. I'm winning the face-offs. Overall, pretty good period for me. All right, Nielsen. Toe drag. Still got the puck. Pass it across. Finds Nelson. He snipes it. What was the goalie doing? What was this goalie doing? Did he knock his goalie out of his own net or something? Uh, let's see this replay. I want to. I kind of want to see what happened. I don't think I knocked the goalie out of the net. It would have been goalie interference. Let's see. Oh, I did. I did. I knocked the goalie out of a net. I got away with one there. Vanek knocked him out. Look at this. Look at. Oh, you can't even see it. This. One. Vanek pushed the goalie out of the net and then uh, gave him a wide open net for Nelson to snipe it for his second goal of the game, one away from a hat trick. But so. Uh, Nice goal from Nelson, but really it was all Vanek there just destroying the goalie, getting him out of the crease, and giving Nelson a wide open net to shoot at. Nope, that's a goal. Oh, he just shot it over the net. Nope, that's a goal. Oh, nice play by Travis Hamnick. Great defensive play. I think the lag helped me out a little bit there too, but he kept it out of the net, and that's all that matters. Brock coming up the ice. Toe drags, find some room. To the backhand, back to the forehand. Oh, he almost got his hat trick there. Just a little toe save by letting and prevents it. What's he gonna do? Henrique. Oh, that's the end of the period. I would have I would have shot it or something if I knew the period was gonna end, but it's hard because I'm not I I don't usually look at the time and I have the volume off. But anyway, that's the end of the second period. We're winning two nothing. We're outplaying him definitely. There's no way. Unless unless EA logic kicks in, there's no way we're gonna lose this game. I think we have this tournament won. Oh, what a weak goal. 
Darren Helm just gets a very, very weak goal. Just a wrist shot from the slot. Montoya, you gotta stop those. Havlat. Havlat. Pass it. Pass it again. Oh, yes! Is that Brock? Is that Brock Nelson? Is that a hat trick for him? I think it is. I gotta see the back of his jersey. I don't know his number or his name. I think it was Brock Nelson. Yes, it was Brock Nelson. His hat trick means we get another player to add. So if we win this game, well, actually, regardless of whether or not we win this game, we'll get one player. If we win, we'll get three. Actually, we'll get five because it's a tournament. We'd be winning the Amateur Cup. No, <laughs> look at that face. Did you see that face that Agposo gave the ref? That was priceless. Have lat. Have lat. Have lat. Pass. Brock. Snipe. Fourth goal of the game for Brock Nelson. He has been on fire. There we go. Here we go. Goal. Oh, Rutu didn't get anything on that shot. Should have been a one-timer. Instead, he just waited for the puck to get to him before he shot it. So that's why Letton was able to make the save there. All right, guys. At the end of the game, the last minute or so, the battery on my camera died. We didn't score or anything else. But we did win the Amateur Cup, as you can see on your screen right now. So that means... One-fourth of this series, well, technically, one-fourth of this series is done, but I'm pretty sure the other cups are going to take a hell of a lot longer to beat than this one. Uh, it also means that since Brock Nelson got four goals, which three goals is a hat trick, but the extra one's nice, he got a hat trick, we won the game, and we won the cup. So that means we get five players to add to our team. Let's go do that. All right, let's randomize this real quick. Five times we got uh, Mike Bossy. That's a huge addition to the team. Let's do it again. Kyle Akpozo, another huge addition to the team. Two right-handed players and Matt Molson. Wow, we're getting a lot of good players here. Fourth time, Evgeny Nabokov. All right, I'm pretty sure he has a milestone card or something. And the fifth player we're going to add is James Wisniewski, a very good defensive player. So this is what the team is looking like. It looks absolutely amazing right now. Um, our first line, we have Milestone Bossy, Nielsen, and Molson. All right, Akpozo, or play the game Akpozo, didn't even make the first line. He has to be on the second line, mostly because I like right-handed shots on the left side and left-handed shots on the right side. Uh, I still kept... I moved Vanek down to the fourth line, by the way. He wasn't really producing as much as I wanted him to, and I wanted to keep the all-devils line together. Uh, Colin, I kept him in the team instead of Brad Boys, just because of how amazing he's been so far. And then uh, for defense, this is what it's looking like. Um, I did not get Milestone Nabokov, I just got regular Nabokov, and he is the backup goalie to Al Montoya. So yeah, the team is looking really, really good right now. As long as we don't like lose our next three games and lose a bunch of players, we should be set. Like, it, the team is amazing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This was a huge episode, so if you could show me some support by smashing that like button, it would be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you guys next time.